Hey, we're back. We're back. You're watching Sun and Eos Gaming. Watching Sun and Eos Gaming. I'm Solid Sun. And this is Crystal Eos. I'm gonna play the game. Crystal Eos is playing the game. Wait, so for my own sanity, we have three people we're missing. Well, three people Quark, missing? Phi, yeah. and then who's the last person we're missing? Oh, uh, I don't know. Probably Luna. zero. Luna. Oh yeah, Luna. Quark, Phi, and Luna, okay. I thought we basically Ten Miyoji's ending is basically Quark's ending. No, it's just told through from the perspective of Quark. It's not Quark's oh. ending. Okay. All right, we got Sig. That's apparent. That's what Sigma looks like, guys. Yeah. I didn't know that. Okay. This um, we're not gonna do that. We will get booted off of that. Okay. Well, you know best. Let's but go this, there. This we just unlocked, and it's fairly short. Okay. Sweet. Let's do it. All right. This is where Sigma oh, has negative died. one. He's dying because Alice killed him, right? No, or Dio, Dio killed, killed him. him. Dio threatened us with the Excelivir. Sigma, what's wrong with your hand? There's something white. Mm. <laughs> Look at that. Looks like <laughs> you don't say. The structure of the bones in your arms isn't anything close to human. Cut off my arm. Your arms are cybernetic. Um. Gotta hand it to you. <laughs> oh, so they're just gonna have him like cut off his hand now? Oh, uh, you'll see. Why not just make another Excelivir? Wouldn't that be an easier way to go about doing this? No, we it didn't was... know that, and Dio has the only Excelivir. Yeah. He's holding it hostage. Yeah. <sighs> it was both shocking and utterly obvious. Of course my arms were artificial. Titanium alloy bones with an ABD exterior to mimic human skin. <laughs> but I had no idea why. Nor did I remember my, when my human arms, which I distinctly remembered having, had been replaced. And that flash of Luna I'd seen. I was certain it had never happened. Those things hardly mattered though. If I survived, I would worry about them later. The fact, that my arms were mechanical, however. That might be useful. Snip, snip. I caught up all the strength I had left and stood one more time. What are you waiting for? Why don't you open it already? What? Did I stutter? Open the number nine door. S Sigma, what are you saying? <laughs> Looks like you finally gave up, whatever. I was just about to flip this. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> then hurry up and. Don't rush me. Okay. It's now moving on its own. Now, right? y yes. Well, what do you say? Want to come with? I. I. I will remain here. Why? I cannot abandon Sigma. Don't worry about me. You basically are me. You have to get outside and call for help. But... Do you think Dio will? If he's the only one who gets out of here, there's no hope for the rest of us. You're the only one we can count on. I understand. Great. Glad we got that settled. Shall we go? No! Stop! Phi began to move, but it was already too late. Dio grabbed the lever and threw it down. That's my knee. This is your thigh. This is your knee. And this my is my... PP. Pee -pee. <gasps> it rhymes. I don't actually have my PP out. No. For all this. I also all don't call it PP normally. Sure you do. That sounds no, real and not, not very manly. PP no work. PP no work. Uh, my PP does work. <laughs> just for all this to you who are wondering why Chris Leos is saying that. <laughs> just making it sure. <laughs> all right. Not something you want out on the internet. Pee pee no work. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay, if you get out of here, make sure the world knows. Pee pee no work. <laughs> but. Just UK. Huh? As Dio turned to look at me, I crouched. Then calling on every last bit of my strength, my worried body could supply, I launched myself toward him like a coiled spring. 
I slammed into his legs, knocking him to the floor and wrapping my hands around his ankle before he could get back up. Hey! What are you doing, you bastard? The door's gonna close! Let go! Let go, goddammit! Let go! <laughs> he lashed out with his free leg at my head, shoulders, and arms, but I held on. I ignored the pain, tightening my grip with every blow. Hey, what the hell is this shit? Why are you doing this? I kept my promise, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, so did I. As far as I recall, I didn't say anything about letting you escape. What? Shit! Stop screwing around, asshole! I have to get out of here. I'm not going to let my sacred mission get fucked up by some self-righteous idiot! Dio began to pull himself along with his elbows, bit by bit, edging closer to the exit. He was headed straight through the door, but the gate was already beginning to close. With only a few feet to spare before it shut, he crawled across the threshold and beyond the door. Sigma! Stop! That's enough! Please, you have to let go! The door's going to shut on you if you don't let go! I mean... Heh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. See you later, Dio. <laughs> oh my god. You're an idiot right up until the end, aren't you? Just hurry up and die, you senile old fuck! Okay, so we are an old person. So K K is a clone of us and we're oh, I knew Sigma was fucking old as shit. Well uh He's like ten Miyoji's age then. They didn't cryo freeze him. <laughs> But anyway, I'm gonna live. Oh. Would that actually cut his arm off or just smash it? He'd have to like tear his arm through the door, right? I mean, it's shut completely, no, so yeah, no, no. his hand is Don't gone. No, I mean, would it sever it or would it just crush it? That's my it's... question. He'd still have to like rip his himself away from the his arm. This ends I mean, that's the idea that it's severed. Thank you. Oh, okay. The announcer's voice grated at the inside of my skull. It's so annoying. I felt tired. So very, very tired. I felt my eyes flutter closed. And then nothing. Okay. Well, he's had his arm ripped off before. Not by the door, but... Uh? Sigma! Sigma! Finally awake, huh? Where am I? I rubbed my eyes and slid my legs off the bed to stand up. Well, to be honest, it was an examination table, not a bed. Which meant... The infirmary, huh? I guess they carried you out here after you passed out. You guess? Well, I wasn't there to see it. I was out just like you, but I was in the AB room. That bastard K, he punched me in the stomach. I can't believe him. He didn't want me voting, so... Whoa. And after he knocked you out, he voted betray, which brought his BP up to nine. Yes. So where is he now? On the other side of the number nine door, with Dio. You told him to go, remember? Oh, yeah. Is your arm okay? Arm? What happened? Cybernetic arms, huh? Can't say I'm surprised. I was starting to get a feeling something was up with you. <laughs> I looked down at my left hand. Or rather, I looked down at where my left hand should have been. Instead, there was a stub wrapped in white gauze. I told myself I'd do anything to get the cure, even if it meant letting Dio betray me, but I had a feeling I might come to miss my hand. <laughs> <laughs> How's Quark? I'm right here. Quark! Man, I'm glad you're alright. Feeling better? Yep. Thanks to you. You bought the medicine from that jerk Dio, right? Luna gave it to me and now I'm better. Thanks. <laughs> You gave it to me, and now it's better. You saved my life. You're welcome, bro. It seemed they had shared stories while I was asleep. 
everyone knew now how I'd made a deal with Dio and about the journal we found with the Latin. Clover and Fi seemed to have done most of the talking. It was completely the opposite of what we guessed. We're not infected. The rest of the world is. Uh oh. That means this place isn't a quarantine facility. It's more like a shelter. Well, we don't know anything for sure yet. I thought the same thing you did, but then Sigma pointed out a couple of discrepancies. Fine, I've already gone over it, but I explained what I'd noticed. One, if we were in a shelter for uninfected people, why had Quark been infected? Any place designed to keep a virus like that out would have a lot of safeguards to keep anything from getting in. Had the virus really bypassed all those measures? It didn't seem likely. Two, the timing of our abductions and the pandemic's outbreak was strange. It would make sense if we'd been rescued after the disease had become widespread, but that wasn't what had happened. First we'd been abducted, then the pandemic had broken out. Three, we didn't know why Zero had put us in the nonary game. If we were survivors he wanted to protect, then why try and kill us? If we were in a shelter, why wasn't it safe? this maybe someone anticipated the pandemic i don't know who probably zero anyway they grabbed us before the pandemic really started then they put us in the shelter but then after a while he got bored so he decided to have us play this game to kill time clover why don't you go over there and like clean a mirror or something <laughs> Who on earth would make people he rescued play a game where they could die just because he was bored? Well, we don't actually know if there is poison in this bracelet. Uh, we do. What? You're the only one who's gotten injected so far. And when you did, it was only Soparil. Clover. Seriously. All the peptabismal dye in your hair has seeped into your brain. What are you saying? <laughs> that what I did at the number nine door was all pointless? No, that's not what I mean. Sure. That can't be it. I'm sure there's tubocurine in the bracelets. The Adam's analysis confirmed it. But what if the Adam is lying? If you're going to do that, <sighs> you don't have anything to Over. base any speculations <laughs> on. You could say that the newspaper article was fake, or that the Latin journal wasn't real. Let's just or listen the to the robot, was real, okay? The translation was a lie. <laughs> You made it up. No, my translation was accurate. I'm just making the point that once you start talking about this stuff being fabricated, it doesn't stop. Oh my god, it turns into Reddit. I don't think Zero is yeah. doing this just to take the piss out of a lime. If you look at the lines, <laughs> you can see that Obama really is a reptile. I don't think Zero is doing this just to take the piss out of a lime. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Uh, I was just trying to stress that I don't think Zero would do this to This is her time. same flirty face that we saw from before. Well, yeah, she's talking It looks about... like she's like trying to cover up, like she's about to fart into her hand, like one of those like raspberry <laughs> like noises. Make a fart sound? And she's definitely got the eyes for it. She's like, I'm about to do something yachty. Oh, that's exactly what she said. <laughs> <laughs> that beautiful waveform. How do you make that mistake? However, I do think Clover has half a point. Half a point? <laughs> Clover doesn't have half a point. did anticipate this pandemic. That part seems reasonable. Well, if the virus was spread on purpose, then I could see how that might make sense. Yeah. It's not like Noah put all the animals on his ark after the flood happened. <laughs> he went around before the rain started falling to gather them all up, right? Are you saying that we were rescued because we're all that's left of humanity? Oh boy. We were brought here because someone knew there would be a pandemic that would turn us into an endangered species? Oh boy. Does that mean we're supposed to repopulate the planet? Oh boy. <laughs> Think carefully about what you say, Luna. Repopulate? Hmm. Mm. I can't wait to populate. I'm populating right now. Oh my god. I looked around and did a quick jerk, uh, a quick inventory. Inventory, that's the word. What? Four women, an old man, and a kid. All right, Quark, you think you're up for it? <laughs> Quark just looks at Alice's boobies and he's like, Hi, Karumba! This is, oh my god. Yeah, the next line, though. 
That meant I was the only young, fertile man. <laughs> Repopulation, huh? That didn't sound so bad. If that was the case, maybe there wasn't any reason to escape. <laughs> if the newspaper and the journal were right, then the world outside was crawling with a deadly virus. Why would we go expose ourselves to that? This would be the safest, <laughs> happiest place on earth. <laughs> All these options. There's no point to any of this now. Who would Sigma sleep with first? You tell me. That's not true. The game might be over, but we've still got a lot of unanswered questions. In fact, we've got even more questions. So, are those answers going to open the number nine door again? It's all over. Why we're stuck here doesn't mean shit. The eight of us aren't leaving, ever. Eight? Hey. You... you're including the old woman? Yeah. Hey, you know what? What if the old lady is Zero Senior? Yeah, your, your the theories are just as dumb as Clover's. We never even considered that. But that would mean the person in charge of all this was murdered by somebody. That doesn't make sense. Maybe she wasn't murdered. Huh? Are you saying she was infected with Radical Six and killed herself? But we didn't find a knife or any kind of weapon in the AB room with her. Maybe she was killed somewhere else. And then someone carried her in there. That's ridiculous, dude. Well, maybe we should go take a look at her one more time. Maybe we missed something. Sure, okay. Tenmyoji, are you okay with us looking at her? We looked down at the body of the old woman. I know who it is. I won't say, but... Phi was the first to move. Quietly and methodically, she began to examine the woman in her clothes. I just stood there. Even if she was dead, no, especially because she was dead. I just didn't feel right touching her. After a few silent minutes, Phi suddenly stopped. She pulled something from one of the old woman's sleeves oh. and held it out toward me. Oh boy. <coughs> Kurashiki? Looks like an ID card for this place. Since it's got her picture on it, I'd say it's a safe bet the card is hers. <laughs> Kurashiki? Ever heard it before? Uh, you? No, anything on the back? Oh, dang. Jumpy doll? Yeah. I think I get it, but... Yeah. Huh? There's something written here. Did, uh, on this timeline, did we get, like, um, the backstory on Tenmyoji? Like who he really is? No, that wasn't this timeline. Not this time. I mean, on this playthrough. And the whole game. Yeah. Yeah. We got his. Yeah, we we Junpei. heard the name Akane Kurashiki. Okay, and Jumpei. Jumpei, yeah. Okay, so that is that must be her. That's yeah. It says Jumpy doll. I I knew it. Yeah, it's Akane. Well, actually, it says pass equals Jumpy doll. So I'm guessing Jumpy Doll is a password of some sort. Why is she saying it like that? It's me. It's Jumpy Doll. It's Jumpy. It looks handwritten. She must have put it on here herself so she wouldn't forget it. Yeah. Hmm. We were still looking the card over when I heard a commotion from the other part of the room. Alice! What's wrong? Alice! Oh no! What are you planning to do with that? Fine, I turned around and gasped. Damn this it. is happening again. Happening again. Huh? We ran to the other end of the room and skidded around the partition. There stood Alice, her hand wrapped tightly around the scalpel. She didn't seem stable. Her eyes were flat and hollow. Her face was an emotionless mask. She wasn't well. The look on her face was all too familiar. Have we seen her do this in this timeline? No. Oh. 
Quark. She looked just like Quark before he went insane. But that meant. Goodbye. Her hand moved, lifting the scalpel up high in the air, then driving it down toward her heart. <laughs> Sorry, just the. That's the first time we've seen her do it? Yeah. Okay. So that explains, like, she did actually kill herself and all those other yeah. ones, pretty much. Whose ending right. was that? Guess who? That's Quark's ending? Yeah. It's only really? an equal and opposite reaction. Um, Quark's ending just basically means you saved him. You sacrificed yourself and your arm to save uh, him. Okay. All right, so. Up next. <sighs> Best ending ever is about to happen. The director's office solve the mystery of the two-headed lion. Okay, let's Are, do it. Oh boy! So do you remember what's happening on this leftmost path? Nope. Everyone, everyone died. Everyone, everyone disappeared or died. It's only uh, yeah. Quark was miss. Quark was missing, right? Quark's missing, um, and everybody's dead. Okay. Do you remember how they're all dead? Oh, uh, they killed each other. Well, uh, uh, Tenmyoji and Clover were like handcuffed and no, dead. No, not this ending. Uh, this. Uh, Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. You're right. They're handcuffed yeah, to each and other. Dio yeah, and Dio and K like killed each other. Yeah, in the rec room. Yeah, and then, like speared. I don't know. Alice is probably dead as well. Alice is dead. Clover. Um, and Tenmyoji are handcuffed together. Yeah, and, and Luna was injected with the injection gun in the okay, neck. Okay, all right. Everyone's dead. Yay! Everybody's dead. When the nine of lion eats the dead. All right. Do we know the ID? We do. And we know the password. Oh, it's Kirishiki. Or whatever? No. What's the ID? It's that ID, um... Okay. So... Oh. Oh shoot, where are the numbers? How do you know this? Well, because we were given it. You just remember it. it? Well, we were given it. I don't remember it. Okay. And that's a jumpy doll? No. <laughs> so glad I'm... It's okay. I'm just here. Milk. Oh, right. Right, right, right. Accepted. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Come, come over here. What's wrong? I got in. What? This. Oh, my God. <laughs> I... She hit her head on the phone. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, the morphogenetic field, I mean, the bullshit. I just, I had the force. What the hell do you mean you just knew it? I just knew it means I just knew it. You gave me the same line when I asked you how you knew my name. Why are you bringing that up? Uh, it doesn't have anything to do with this. Okay. You sure? It might. What? I don't... Uh, look, just forget about that. Come take a look at this. Sure. Fine. Just let me get right on that. Are you out of your damn mind? Tell me what the hell is going on here. Why do you know how to log into this computer? Are you even listening to me? Oh my god. We continue to yell at one another instead of getting to this next plot point for several more minutes, but no matter what Fi asked me, I can never come up... With an answer that satisfied her. Boy, isn't that the way. Eventually, she seemed to give up. <laughs> Fine. You still don't make any sense, but I don't think you're lying. Yeah, I'm a guy, all right? Damn right I'm not. And the AB game deadline isn't getting any further away. <laughs> all right. Let's see what this thing has for us. Oh, boy. Are you ready for this? No. Nope. Where are we supposed to start? Looks like there's tons of stuff in here. Oh, can you tell me the ID that you put in? I can try searching for that. Maybe we'll get a hit. I gave her what she'd asked for. Get the fuck out. DM L016. Her search returned several files, and after examining them for a moment, Phi opened one. Golem unit details. Are these product specifications for a golem? Looks like it. So was blah, 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 Gollum's ID? Don't ask me. You seem to know more about all this than I do. That's right. We met the Cockney Gollum on the throne. Oh, right. Whatever. Just read the file. 
Maybe it'll make more sense. Jiggery pokery. Let's see here. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. Luna, I knew it. Yeah. Why is there a picture of Luna in this file? There's something written underneath it. It says, appearance after application of ABT. ABT, ABT. It is this special artificial <laughs> biological tissue, what's called ABT. When a golem's all new and shiny, they've got a nice suit of ABT over that metal skeleton. Makes it look right human, it does. Even feels like real skin, with pores, a little bit of hair, and a few pimples, scars, and the like. <laughs> Truth to tell, I doubt you'd be able to tell the real from the fake. Even see, right in the mid. And that's when he was shut I off. See. Yeah, so he was about to give Luna too much information. And DML016 was her product ID. Wait, so how was she injected with a chemical? Like, what was she injected with to knock her out if she was well, a robot? Well, she was injected with the stuff. Keep in mind that, like, that uh, artificial biological tissue does act like human tissue. Like, and it's just that the blood is white rather than red. But I don't know if it should be stopping. It should stop a machine, though. Hmm. But why? Why would Luna be in the game? Hmm. I don't know how autonomous she really is. But I find it hard to believe she would have come here of her own free will. So you're saying she was sent here by Zero Senior? Probably. Look, at the bottom of the screen it shows her current status. Oh boy. Currently operational. Executing special mission. You think her special mission is to participate in the game? Probably. So why did Zero Senior want a robot as a participant? You think maybe it was to supervise the rest of us? Maybe if something unexpected happened, she was supposed to correct it or something. What if it was some kind of void conf test? Oh boy. A it's what? Really great. A test to see how human she was. Whether or not eight people would be able to figure out she was a robot. It's essentially a Turing test. Yeah, that sure. almost explain the whole game, actually. Making us solve puzzles and play the AB game. All of those things could have been designed to give us a chance to see her true nature. That's why she always allied. Because, like, robotics, she can't hurt someone. The law of the robotics. Law, yeah, that's so betraying what possibly, she, like, She harm. is the one who brought it up, yeah, the law of the three Yeah, she, she did. And she also called us a robot. Yes. That's kind of funny. She, she said if we were a robot, that we'd be good robots, because we would probably honor the laws of robotics. I see. So it's kind of like the Chinese room. Yeah. Luna is the girl locked in the room. Oh, because that's why she's got the bird in the cage. Outside. Yeah. Well, like I always say. It's just a possibility, right? All what matters is if the person next to you does what a human ought. Looks like a person, acts like a person, and talks like a person, then it's probably a person. Where did you figure it out? That she was a golem, I mean. Right now. I didn't know until I saw this stuff. You're lying. When I told you about what happened with Gollum in the pantry, you said something about how this game might be sort of like the Chinese room. I don't know why I said that. It just felt like it made sense. Like you just knew it? Yeah. Look, forget about that. See Luna's status? She's not dead. Yeah, it says the same thing it did a minute ago. Currently operational. Executing special mission. Whoa, wait, what the hell? Luna's dead. You think robots die? They're answering your she question. She only injected with muscle relaxant. Ten minutes remain. Until Ambidex game polling closes. This was the one where that creepy thing happened where um an EB room opened. Yeah. Was it Luna that opened it? We will find out. Players, please enter if no. There it is. Next time on Sun and Eos Gaming, yeah. we're gonna go back to the AB rooms and see if Luna's out there. And we're gonna ask her how it feels to be a robot. I feel Remember, like, a few episodes ago, you were like, who do you like? Uh -huh. And I was like, oh, Lu I like Luna. I yeah. picked a robot out of the of the, of the human one girls yeah, that are in the game. The I picked the robot. 
Yeah. I don't have any react like response to that. <laughs> Are you accusing me of being robotic? Is that what's no. happening? Oh, okay. I'm not. Oh. I just wanted to bring it up because it's kind of funny. It is pretty funny. We'll see you. We'll see you guys next time. See you next time. If you haven't subscribed, Bring. give us a subscribe. And if you really like the video, give us a super thanks. Bring a every, box of tissues and cry your heart out. Hit. Every little bit helps. Yeah, we can eat all the help we can get. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Yeah.